in this covenant day of all unrest, God will give you rest. In your business, you will have rest. In your finances, you will have rest. Over your children, you will have rest. That person's amen is coming alive. In Joshua, the book of Joshua, Joshua, the book of Joshua, Joshua 21 and verse 44, the Bible is speaking. He said, and the Lord gave them rest where? Round about. Rest at home. Rest in the finance. Rest over the children. Rest over your wife. Rest over your husband. That testify this morning. He said, I'm a, is it Baptist? Equa. He said, but I was in pain. You had that testimony. He said, but when I received the word, and I followed the instruction. I couldn't even pick the paper to write the thing. But as I kept my, to the instruction, I put my leg in that feet washing water. Instantly, the sickness disappeared. Yeah. God will give you rest this morning. Yeah. I said, God will give you rest this morning. Yeah. He said, and God gave them rest round about. According to all that the that he, he, has, he swore unto their father, and there, and there stood not a man in all of all their enemies before them. The Lord delivered all their enemies into their hand. I don't know the battle of your life right now. God will give you rest. Oh, ho, that battle over your career, God will give you rest. That battle for your promotion. God will give you rest. Now listen to me. When you have rest, anxiety disappears. When you have rest, no more fear. No more fear. No more fear. When rest comes, no more fear. On, that's what you look, you'll be sleeping. Listen, the Bible says one day in Mark, Mark 4, verse 38 to 41. Mark 4, 38 to 41. There was a great storm, and Jesus was resting in the inner chamber of the boat. There was a great storm, and they woke him up and said, Master, care not that we perish. And he woke up and said, Peace be still. Verse 41. The Bible said, And there was a great calm. Listen to me from great trouble, from great trial, enter into great calm. I say enter into your season of great calm. People have seen you sweating, struggling to the point that they are even pitying you. Today, that mockery is turned to your testimony. But Jesus has offered himself to take, to give you rest. In Matthew 11 and verse 28 to 29, he said, come unto me all ye that labor and are heavy laden. For I will give you what? Rest. My friend, no parent can give you rest. No president can give you rest. He's the only one that can qualify to tell you that. Come unto me. No doctor can give you rest. Come unto me. All oh, ye that are labor, whatever load you are carrying in your life. He said, come and bring it, bring it, bring it. He said, how do I give you rest? In verse 29, he said, come and learn of me. That means there's something I will tell you there's something I will teach you. There's a knowledge you will receive that will give you your rest. Today, for your trouble, by the word you have received, receive your rest this morning. Amen. How do I secure rest? All and rest. How do I secure all and rest? Acquaint yourself with God. Exodus 9, Exodus 33, verse 9 to 10. Exodus 33, verse 9 to 10. Acquaint yourself with God. Moses was in acquaintance with God, and God told him, say, my presence will go with you, and I will give you rest. So, your response to the things of God, your response to his word, your response to his service, has to do with his response to you. And you cannot have God as your partner, and not enjoy rest. Today, experience rest on all sides. <laughs> Number two, settle with the world. Settle with the world. On any subject of your life you desire rest, go for the word that talks about it. 
If it's your finances, go for the word that talks about your finance. If it's concerning your relationship, the word of God reflects your relationship to every aspect of your life. In your marriage, go for the word. What does the word say? That is a sure way to rest. In that Matthew 11 and verse 29, he said, come and learn of me. Number three, have faith in the rest God offers. Have faith in the rest God offers. In Hebrew 4 and verse 2 to 9, Hebrews 4 verse 2 to 9, it says, the same word that was preached to them was also preached to us, but to them it was not mixed with faith. Then he went further and said, they have not entered his rest. When you begin to express your faith in the word, you begin to enter your rest. God takes over your works. Today, I see you enter your, in your rest on that subject in the name of Jesus. Finally, this morning, settle in the house of God. Settle in the house of God. Settle in the house of God. Second Corinthians 7 and verse 10. Second, second Samuel 7 verse 10. Second Samuel 7 and verse 10. He said, I will appoint a place he said, moreover, I will appoint a place for my people Israel, and I will plant them that they may dwell in the place of their own and move no more. Neither shall the children of the wicked afflict them anymore as aforetime. So, there is a place for your rest. The place you receive faith, you receive testimony, you receive knowledge that will, that will nourish you spiritually is a place for your rest. Today, by your presence in this house, receive rest on every front. Amen. Go ahead and declare the kind of rest you want to receive. There's an anointing in this house already. There's a grace in this commission. Go ahead and receive that rest. 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 Declare thou as a king, and thou mayest be justified. By the word I received this morning, I enter my rest in this subject. In that subject, go ahead and receive his rest. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed.